you know, player safety my like this is literally a elbow to the face to a guy that didn't have the puck. I see him coming, I brace for a hit. It was a late hit, I never had the puck and he flicks his elbow to my face and they're and they're not gonna do anything about it, so now I gotta take matters in my own hand next time this happens and I get I get to swing my stick across his, his forehead and I shouldn't I shouldn't get suspended then. I don't really know what to say. Um, like I can't really protect myself there if the league's not gonna protect me then I'm the smallest guy on the ice, so I can't really fight anybody. So the, the only thing I can do to defend myself is, is use my stick. So the next guy that does that to me is going to get my f***ing stick. And I better not get suspended for it. I guess you get no explanation no. Like from Chevy or anything. They don't... Uh, no. This isn't the first incident in recent weeks, even, where people were wondering why there wasn't a suspension. The Cassian Kachuk thing comes to mind as well. Is, is that an overall concern as a player that there's some inconsistency there? Yeah, for sure. Especially after that hit that I just, I just suffered, they're not going to do anything about it. I mean, that's clear cut elbow to the face to a guy that didn't have the puck. Like, he's just taking on a smaller guy. Like, if I was a bigger guy, he probably doesn't do that because you know I can beat him up. One more on after Blake actually engaged yeah. with Vertan and, he did. and tried to, but he didn't want to go. What does that say, nah. I guess, about Yeah, him? exactly. Like, he's not even going to fight anybody, so he's going to throw his elbow around. He doesn't have to fight anybody, and the league's not going to do anything about it. So maybe now I should start running around with my elbows up and getting guys in the face, and then I don't have to answer and fight anybody, and I should be, I should be all right, right?